Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I have shared something in code. So here we go. I'm going to talk about a swing trading strategy using NSC and Nifty 50 index. I will walk through step by step as to how can you create a simple strategy in Python and code it from end to end, generate some simple plots. A very simple disclaimer. This is not a trading advice. This is purely educational. So use it as your own risk. Use the code to tailor and customize your specific strategies that you are using for swing trading. You can obviously add more parameters, indicators, and I will give instances as to where. Let's get started. So what we have is a simple starting point where I am not using too many functions. This time it's just Yahoo Finance. And then the code is very simple. There's no NumPy, not a lot of you know uh, deep down stuff around multiple libraries this is very simple code so the first step is you define the nifty 50 symbol and uh, nifty 50 symbol is determined by this exclamation or whatever the symbol is upper hat nsci and i is for index you can set a start date and end date i usually follow the date time library makes my life a little easier so i just set it 2023 january to 2024 march 1st march so there's about one year two months of trading data i am downloading the data for one day period you can obviously play with different periods now if you take a look at the data frame here's the data frame how it looks the buy signal and sell signal have been added later but uh, we'll talk about it slightly later what you can also do is you can do a chart view of this data which i have done here now this chart view is most likely a function of my IDE, which is what I'm using as Visual Studio Code. Uh, sorry, this is not Visual Studio Code. This is PyCharm. And what, what you can do here in this tool is you can do quick customizations if you want. For example, if you want to add high and you can do close, you can add multiple charts very very quickly uh, in this and you can even do groupings you can change by line type i don't think dotted will make any sense you can do a stock which is more of a series type data which you need to configure but it can show candlesticks also if you add uh, for example closing price low value could be low and high value will be high so if you see uh, groups can be date again but no this does not make sense all right so yes here we have some sort of a candlestick picture which you can use to do analysis this is interesting if you want to do charts and all within the ide itself moving on with the code now what we'll do is we'll define a function and it's important that we understand why a function driven approach is done so a function allows you to implement the same code over and over again so if i want to take the swing strategy and apply it on different time frames and windows i can do that and i can override some of these parameters like short window long window and macd signal uh, you know ema period i have given the def definition and the description of the function here so basically what this function is doing is it takes a pandas data frame which has the historical data and then there's some optional parameters like window sizes, which could be like MACD signal EMA period. So let's go on and try and understand what we are trying to do. So the function is taking data frames and window sizes as I just talked. The MACD is calculated by taking the difference between the short term EMA and the long term EMA of closing prices. The signal, signal line is fundamentally the EMA of the MACD series. Here, I have just taken 9, so this becomes 9 days for daily data, 9 weeks for weekly data to calculate the signal lines. Basically, it's looking back at the 9 period EMA for the MACD series. Then we have added 2 new columns called buy and sell signal and they have been populated using apply method. The buy signal is set to true and uh, the sell signal is set to true when the MACD crosses below the signal line. So let's go and look at the code. The description is obviously pasted here. You can read it. Uh, so what we have is here is a function, swing strategy, data is the data frame, short window, long window, MACD signal. And then you are taking the adding on the additional column. I've talked about how to do this in previous videos. So you are taking the data and applying all the functions here. So basically you are taking the short window, minimum period short window dot mean, 
and you are then taking the long window minimum period come in and generating the signal line as we just talked using the EWM nine days and the mean for that initially the buy and sell are set to zero and then the as in when we have a crossovers we are adding the uh, you know doing a buy or doing a sell and then fundamentally you are converting through to one and false to zero which is just a integer conversion using uh, for for easier purposes so if we run this code from top to down let's just uh, run it once again it will give us some good values so maybe i have run the swing strategy here i will add another column and show you guys how this looks so if you see there's nothing here in the signal line but if you change this to probably all the data you will see somewhere you will have number one which is like a buy signal and uh, then it could be a sell signal somewhere here and then th this is fundamentally a little tricky to do however if you use excel it will be easier to analyze this tool is not meant for data analysis nevertheless we have a very simple approach to do that so what i've done is added a matplotlib function and what this is doing is it's generating a nice plot and showing where the price and the data is moving and buy and sells are occurring so you have green up pointing as a buy and then red down pointing as a sell and essentially there's a lot of short term buy sells happening which you can see uh, however the strategy has was really has done really good call here so buying at really like 19000 probably 20,000 or somewhere around 19,300 levels and then going up to 21,500 levels which would be really really good apart from that you also have a good uh, run here so the strategy is not that bad fundamentally however there's a lot of smaller and short term trades you could further optimize this by adding parameters like RSA, RSI and some sort of a trend based indexes there's a lot of smaller parameters that you can combine like uh, MACD and you can add probably volume indicators as well I'll try to find a more uh, concrete strategy and add it here and share it in future videos the next question that we almost always get is you know how do you calculate profit and loss so this is a very simple function for calculating profit and loss so the commission is set to 0 0.1 which is like 1% uh, I'm starting with 1 lakh rupees and you have the data uh, so essentially what you are doing is you are just going over the buy sell signal multiplying that uh, with commission and then moving forward either the position is long or short and then updating your holdings to handle the equity curve you can actually generate a chart for equity curve which I'm not doing right now so the final portfolio value uh, given a 0% commission is 1,13,419 so you make about 13 thousand four hundred five hundred rupees uh within a year which is not bad so that's like 13 percent not great strategy too however if you start to add commissions then this will go negative so one percent commission is probably too high should stick to 0 0.05 because this would be delivery based so you're still making somewhere four thousand rupees uh four percent it is still profitable however not a great strategy from the sense of profitability all right re-summarizing it again quick check if you have stuck with me for so far please do subscribe to my channel i regularly talk about these kind of content share code give live conversations commentary around analysis and you know share recent advancement in this space from the world of ai and stuff so please please do subscribe to the channel put in a comment if you want to see new content as well which you are interested in all right so we just selected and downloaded the data added a simple function to calculate swing and uh, then just applied and uh, generated the plot signals now the way i would want to use this is very important i would use this to keep doing my analysis so what i can do is every single day whatever uh, you know analysis is coming up in my swing depending on these conditions i will try to uh, automate that and analyze it like maybe weekly or something like that and probably generate some sort of a telegram alert and using that i can even if my trades are discretionary completely manual i can leverage technology and uh, be a little faster at that all right so that's our curse thank you for listening bye